Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus, who will come to us. Let us prepare our hearts to receive him, especially as he comes to us in this Eucharist. In a special way, we offer this Mass for Pope Francis, who celebrates his birthday today. And we also remember in this Mass our brothers and sisters in the Visayas and Mindanao who are suffering because of the typhoon. May they be able to witness to their faith even in the midst of difficulties. And may there be many people who would be willing to help them in their need. Let us, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist by being sorry for our sins and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. 
Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Creator and Redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, look with favor on, your, on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recompense, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the maze from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez was the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Ruth. Boaz became the father of Obed, Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse, the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Re Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Oziah, Oziah the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah, Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Sheltiel, Sheltiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, eight days before Christmas, our readings today tell us the ancestry of Jesus. In our Gospel, we heard the genealogy of Jesus, the list of the names of the ancestors of Jesus. And in our first reading, we are told about Judah, one of the twelve sons of Jacob. And it is in the line of Judah as also mentioned by St. Matthew in our Gospel, it is from the line of Judah that David, the great king, and eventually Jesus, the Messiah, would come. All these names are so important because these are the people that God needed in order to bring about his plan of salvation. Ang mga taong ito, maraming pangalan, ang mga tao 
na kinailangan ng Diyos upang isakatuparan ang kanyang plano na iligtas ang sangkatauhan. My dear brothers and sisters, did you hear that? God needed these people in order to realize His plan of salvation. Does God really need us in order to fulfill His plan? Kailangan ba talaga ng Diyos ng tulong ng tao upang isakatuparan ang kanyang plano? Kung Diyos siya, bakit niya kakailanganin ng tulong ng mahihina at makasalanang mga tao? In truth, God does not need us and God does not need any help from anyone. For after all, He is God. He is almighty. He is all-powerful. He can do everything by Himself. Did He not create the whole universe by simply uttering words? God does not need us. But today, my dear brothers and sisters, God is showing us that He needed people in order to bring about His plan of salvation. Not because He needs us, but because He wants to teach us that we need each other. Kailangan natin ang bawat isa. We cannot really live on our own and we cannot do everything by ourselves. Huwag nating lokohin ang sarili natin na kaya nating mag-isa at hindi natin kailangan ng tulong ng iba. There is a saying, If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Kung gusto nating may marating, dapat sama-sama. And even the word together says it all. Together. Together. To get there. Sama-sama upang meron tayong marating, maabot, at matupad ang ating mga plano at pangarap. My dear brothers and sisters, no human being is an island. And even God needed the help of human beings to fulfill His plan. Today, let us acknowledge our need for each other. And especially, let us acknowledge our need for God. Please stand. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That each member of the church on earth may be watchful and ready for Christ's coming. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of nations may grant liberty to people who have been unjustly punished and imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like St. John, 
we may become worthy and credible witnesses of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those who are overburdened in life, especially the lonely and the sick, may experience the joy of Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may find the joy of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for Pope Francis. We also pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering because of the typhoon. We also pray for, uh, for the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by the evil in our lives. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries, we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. 
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.